Thank you, Skull Deer. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call you Bro Bro Deer from now on. Bro Deer? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dates and I'm your humble narrator and welcome back to Awesome Knots. Today we have a PvP match with Ix, who uh, I haven't really done before in PvP. I don't play him that often, but I do know that um, his healing capabilities are really really good, damage capabilities are definitely okay, and then uh, his little invincibility shield thing is just uh, about as OP as it gets. So I'm not sure whether it works against um, Nas Spit or something like that, but we're gonna do our best. We'll heal this Froggy G up as well because that is uh, one of the main things that Ix can do or should be doing. And it seems we've got a Skull Deer and a Raylin, so lots of DOTs are gonna be flying around. But I definitely know that I can use my uh, invincibility move against Raylin's uh, Snipe, which is relatively easy to time unless she's doing it early. Oh, there's invincibility my way out of the turret. And even though it lasts so short, it really does uh, come in handy more often than one would think. So I'm going to get a little bit of health regen to start, um, just to kind of tide myself over. I've got the um, the health uh, health steal on the, uh, the melee attack as well, the little spiky crystals. And uh, I tried to heal that froggy G up as well, but that's okay. He can go home. You don't need to stay here if you don't want. And then we've got Raylin hanging about, waste her snipe. I was trying to teleport her out away from the turret just then, but uh, didn't quite work the way I had planned it. So we'll clear droids a little more. Skull Deer's gonna eventually learn that throwing me is not the uh, the best idea. <laughs> I got that invincibility, I can get away from the turret, no problem. So we'll pick up a little bit of health, just kind of uh, hang back for a second, try and get my health steal going. And I didn't realize that uh, there was piercing on this melee attack. Hmm. It seems that uh, I'm not able to prevent the DOT with my invincibility move, which is rather unfortunate. So I am going to have to watch out for Skull Deer and Nas' little, uh, little DOT moves. But overall, I think things are going to be just fine. I want to heal this froggy up. There you go, buddy. Because I am the best healer. I do want to increase the uh, health and uh, health regen and damage increase of that uh, that little bonding move, but that'll come in due time. First things first, uh, mostly health health stealing is uh, the thing that I want, just to keep myself sustained and on the field as much as possible, healing teammates as much as possible, and um, I really do like Ix's jump as well. He's got that little floaty bit at the end of his jump, which generally comes in pretty handy. I fucking missed my uh, my bond there with the max focus, but that is okay. I'm not gonna screw with Raylan's little rift there, but I do need to watch the bottom lane because uh, this turret is almost down already, so that's super unfortunate. And I wasted my invincibility move before she wasted her snipe, so uh, that's something that I'll have to be more conscious of in the future. I'll go ahead and uh, try and get rid of Nas Weedlings. They are a lot weaker than they used to be, um, unless they get spit on them. But generally, yeah, I don't, I don't see many Weedling builds for Nas these days, which is rather fortunate. Oh my god! I just said that I was gonna watch this turret, and then uh, I left it behind. And what do you know? Down it goes. So not a good start for us. Their top turret is looking pretty shit, but uh, we're gonna have to push really hard on this bottom turret in order to be able to do anything. So, I should have snatched that Raylin. I think that's what the Froggy was waiting for. A uh, little teleport on the Raylin, but that's that's fine. I'll give him a little heal. That's how I do. And uh, I've basically been running this top lane, so hopefully the, they can keep the bottom lane on lock. And it seems not. <laughs> froggy fell off the bottom of the stage. Really not a good a good thing bad foreboding sign, I guess. But that's fine. We're, we're still gonna do our best. We're gonna keep it up. Keep on pushing. We're halfway through this top turret, so uh, I remain hopeful, kind of. <laughs> it's also really hot here in the Philippines today, if you uh, if you take a note of that. I'm, I'm absolutely fine. I've been hydrating, and uh, <laughs> I fucking tried to do my psionic bond there. 
but um, yeah, it wasn't off cooldown quite yet. There's quite a cooldown for that, which uh, I'm impressed by, you know? I, I should get uh, a cooldown decrease, but I'm not sure if that's an option. Um, really, what I do is increase the duration of it and increase the healing and the damage of it. And then there's uh, generally room for a third option, but I find that those two are generally all that I get to. Oh my god. I almost got fucked up over there. There you go. That's good for you, Froggy. Healthy. Healthy Frog is healthy. <laughs> Alright, so they're working on the bottom lane, but I'm going to keep up here on the top just so we don't lose this top turret, because that is extremely important. Oh my god. They're doing all this shit. Oh man. Here comes Max Focus, but it's a little bit too late. That railing's gonna get away. Damn. But I am doing a good job of blocking those snipes with the uh, invincibility move, so... Just gotta keep that up. Unfortunately, our droids were not able to make it to their turret just now, but... If we if we keep, uh, keep up here, then eventually we'll be able to push through it. That is my hope, at least. It seems their turret is uh, at about a quarter health now, so yeah. We are making a dent. It seems me against the Gnaw, I'm going to win out every single time just because I have uh, the sort of sustain that he does not. Able to save the max focus right there. Go get that health orb, dude. And uh, that is one of the really nice things. He doesn't... Ix does not have the, the staying power or the supporting power of Voltar, but he definitely does have uh, quite a bit of support power. Especially if you're paying attention to your teammates' health and things like that, which you definitely should be if you're playing a support character. Anyways, their top turret goes down. Super, super nice. So now we're able to focus on this bottom turret just a little bit. Um, trying to get some heals. I think I missed it completely. And uh, that Raylan is able to pick off Froggy, which is not good. Not good at all. But it seems also that Raylan is uh, not bothering to waste her snipe on me anymore. She saw me block it at least two times, so uh, she's given up given up hope just a little bit. It's that she's going to focus on the droids, which is just fine. Keeps my sustain way up there. And I'm not sure if I can get from the bottom of the stage to the top um, with just my jump. So I was using the invincibility at the end. But I think it might be possible, either because they uh, changed the length of the stage or they changed the length of Ix's jump. So, Skoldir comes down here, wastes his throw. Oh my god, I just got fucking taken. I don't have health regen, so that is it. Yep, we'll be back. Alright, we're back. We're back in the game. We're ready to go. I'm doing a relatively good job of keeping my teammates from dying. Um, but yeah, we don't really have any tanks. We've got two harassers and a support which is probably not the best build on paper. Their team is definitely a stronger one. They've got uh, a nice tanky melee character, they've got a range character, and then they've got like kind of a support harasser in the form of Gnaw. So on paper, I would think that their team would win, um, but we seem to be doing pretty good. We've dropped their second turret. They've only dropped one of ours. So I remain hopeful um, all of a sudden about this match. I tried to snatch that Skoldir up, but it didn't quite work, so that's just fine. Mm, how about this? Yeah. I don't think I need that invincibility to get to the uh, get to the top, but it's a just-in-case kind of thing. I just wasted my, uh, my psionic bond, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of blocking for max focus here. There we go. Have some healing. Yes, that's quite nice. Mm. He can chase down that Raylin. Oh, that's that's not a good idea. <laughs> I was just going to clear the droids because that is the most important thing. They've been beating on that bottom turret pretty well, and I don't want it to go any further than it already has. So I teleport myself to the other side of the time rift, which is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, Skull Gear showed up, and I wanted to get the fuck out. So I, I'm, I'm gone. And there's a nice kill for me. Thanks to uh, the help of Froggy G and his massive burst damage. So I think Froggy G might be a, a bit of a better player than the max focus that we have. But everybody on our team seems to be doing relatively well. Um, I'm only one and one so far, but I am a supporter primarily. And uh, yeah, 
healing is the most important thing for me. They don't have any support, um, aside from Nob. He's not really a healer or anything like that. So, I'll have to make my heals count, um, keep my harassers on the stage as much as possible. And I missed that. <laughs> oh, I went to wipe my head and missed that, um, that fucking snipe from Raylan. So that's super unfortunate. Froggy was able to get the Skull Deer, which is super nice. Um, so we got two against three now. They're missing their tank, so we should be able to push up on the turret relatively easily. I'm gonna go ahead and kill Nas Weedlings. Just a little bit. There we go. And, yeah. A little bit of damage on the turret. Not a whole lot. And yeah, that Nas is definitely upgrading his spit. Going for a bit of a spitty build. Um, he's got the slowdown. I think he has a damage increase as well, and then he's got the uh, split spit. Obviously, he hit max focus there, and it uh, came down on my head. So I was hoping to uh, lure the skull deer to throw me, but he's saving it for max focus, I think, since Max is uh, a floaty character. And let's see if we can just uh, stall them enough to to keep the froggy going. We did pretty good with that. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy. All right. So Raylan's definitely got her boots. I'm able to uh, block the snipe once more. I always really like that. It makes me feel super leak, bruh. Um, where is my team? There they are. <laughs> They're all in the bottom lane. So now we're all together trying to push it in. That time rift was placed a little bit far back than, uh, than usual. But I will head up to the top to assist my team just a little bit more. I think Froggy needs some healing, but I missed that shit again. Um... Increasing the range of that thing is probably one of the most important things. And yeah, there goes Froggy. I, I, my, my shit just came back up. I, I could have healed you, bro. Oh well. We'll go to the shop. We'll get some, uh, some upgrades, things like this. I'll finish out my health regen, and then we've also got to get, um, the healing increase and the duration increase for the psionic bond. So that's gonna be super, super nice. People going like that a lot. And Frog needs some help with the bottom turret. Obviously he's uh, focused on the characters, whereas I'm actually focused on the droids. But that's pretty nice. Ooh. Let's get this skull deer. Oh my god, Froggy's in some danger. I should have probably saved my heals for him. No, he's got health regen too. He's gonna be okay. It was a close one though. <laughs> I don't necessarily like that. And here we go, flying up to the top, and obviously I did not need the invincibility either. Um, but yeah, something has changed about the Starstorm map, and I'm not quite sure what it is. I guess they didn't have the, uh, the extra pedestals before on the side there. Something like that. I can't recall for sure. Um, maybe I'll go back and watch an old video with the new Starstorm map. New Starstorm map, which is not so new anymore. Um, and they are able to block the snipe again. Raylan needs to be retaught her lesson that you simply cannot snipe an Ix. It's not gonna happen as long as he's paying attention. <laughs> it's hard to pay attention in the Philippines when I'm feeling so wet. So wet and hot and sticky. Ooh. <laughs> um, the split spit is able to be uh, taken away by droids, which I think is really cool. If he spits on the droids, it's not gonna end up um, splitting which is really, really useful. So you, if you can avoid the spit long enough for the droids to step over it, then you don't really need to worry about it as much. It's not going to uh, spray all over the stage, which I think is uh, a decent nerf to Gnaw. Gnaw is definitely not as strong as he once was, but um, he gets the job done. They aren't able to get the healing on max focus, but I broke it from falling too far. So, eh, that's okay. A little bit is better than nothing, I do suppose. Now Frog's here with me. I'm not gonna go for that. <laughs> no timer for me. Not today. And, yeah. Not able to snag that gnaw as I was hoping. And I missed my fucking heal on the Froggy. I can't believe it. He's just so, uh, so hoppy and things like that. And it's hard to, hard to nail him down. But that's okay. He seems to have, uh, some health regen going. I'll just heal him up because why not? And, uh, let's see how this top lane's going. Everybody on the top lane, you having a good time? And able to fly up and out. Really nice. Get that gnaw. Alright. 
Superb. I'm thinking about a heal, but nobody really seems to need it. I missed it on the froggy anyways, so I'm gonna go back to base again. Better safe than sorry, as they say. Um, I really like upgrading the, the middle click. That invincibility move is really nice if you can uh, get some healing on it. Get some rocks uh, flying around so it's some nice extra burst damage. Um, those are probably my two preferred. And then as usual we have the third slot, which can basically be anything. They're all really good options. And I was trying to teleport that Raylin, but I just missed it by a second. So that's going to be fine. We've got some action going in both lanes now. Keep them pushed. Keep them pushed. I think this is a, this is a really pleasing match to me, especially because they were... Uh, they were a better team on paper, but things are turning in our favor. That snipe has definitely been upgraded. Fucking huge damage from that. I wish somebody was here to heal me, but uh, only me is here to heal me, so I'll have to use some of that lifesteal and get things going as they should. But here we go. This top turret is definitely coming down pretty soon. Oh my god, please look out, Froggy. Wow. We took some uh, massive damage there, but we were able to put some more damage on the turret, which is always nice. I get the heal on the frog. Really uh, a good friend of mine, Mr. Froggy G, especially with the healing. I should probably give him the uh, the damage upgrade with the, with the psionic bond. That would be a really nice combo, especially because Froggy G's damage output is just fucking insane to begin with. Um... Oh, and I did pick up a second kill. I got that kill on the Skull Deer, blocking him from going back into his turret. Which is uh, another nice thing about Ix, just because of his floaty nature, you can uh, you can block off enemy characters. He's definitely not the, uh, the biggest character. He doesn't have the biggest hitbox, but it's functional. Um, especially because of the way that he floats around, things like that. Somehow that frog with like no health was able to get that kill, which is super nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep my healies going. Oh, thank you, Skull Deer. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call you Bro Bro Deer from now on. Bro Deer? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he threw me back into my turret, which uh, is pretty helpful. And they're chewing up my bottom turret, which I don't like at all. So somebody come over here and fucking help me, please. I don't know where anybody is at the moment. We got a uh, Froggy. Yeah. Froggy and Max Focus are running around on the bottom. Try and help him out just a little bit. And that Skull Deer got got. He ran away. His team was uh, going back towards the turret, and Skull Deer was like, I'm gonna go down. Well, Froggy was able to pick that one up, so definitely a good job from the Froggy G. Uh, a well played Froggy G really can turn the, the tides of a match. He's got that invincibility frames, which is always useful. And then he's doing a really good job of body blocking and things like that, too. So uh, I want to keep him alive as much as possible. That top turret is almost dead. Uh, we just need a little more on it. Probably droids could knock it down if we uh, get a chance to push them over to it. I was uh, going to be able to block that snipe, but um, yeah, she didn't aim at me. She's finally learned her lesson once more. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying this max focus floating around. And then uh, Ix also has that... Uh, that bit of mobility. So down goes the top turret. Everything's going fantastically, except they are now uh, almost on our bottom turret. This is not good. This is not good. Oh god. We got their Raylan. I'm not gonna go bother going down there after the Skull Deer. Because why? Why bother? We could just chew up their turret and the game. That would be quite nice. And uh, we got a full set of droids right here, ready to do it. And I'm gonna block this Skullier out of the turret again. Fucking fantastic. Exactly what Ix is meant to do. So let's get their gnaw. That uh, slowing orb was just a little too slow to catch up with the gnaw. But maybe it did slow him down. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I got hit by that snipe again because I was thinking too hard about the gnaw. But anyways, it looks like we're in here to stay. That seems to be the game. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been a match with Ix, the interloper. Fantastically done. Uh, really happy to have a, a pretty good match with him, 3-1. It's not too bad. So, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, that is always appreciated. It helps the channel to get out there. 
and uh, now we're steady with the Awesome Knots content again. So hopefully, uh, some of those people that joined up for Awesome Knots content and were disappointed when it went away will slowly filter uh, back into the mix. Anyways, that is my hope. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then. Oh. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.